Alright, so um, we've done two of these already. Um, this one here, which was pretty good. It had a lot of gold play boards in it. This one was pretty good. It had several gold play boards. That near, not nearly as good as the first one. However, um, we got one more here. This one is a very old vintage 1980s uh, credit card machine. Um, and it's actually a ZXL, but it's really a Jean, Zon Jr. XL board um, credit card reader um, or machine um, by Verifone, as with all the other ones. So, um, this one I had to remove some labels because those had personal information on it. Um, so, anyway, flip this over. Um, I've already removed all the four screws on the back. And so... Now, let's open it and see what's inside. So, obviously you can see why it broke. There's a big burned area in the very right hand corner. Um, but, all those um, parallel lines make me feel really good. Those may all be chips. So, um, let's take a look and see. I don't think I need to remove that because looking at the pad, that looks like a transistor that isn't, um, that's attached to a heat sink that isn't holding it in place. So let's take a look. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's beautiful. So, um, in fact, I may not actually process this board. It's so nice. Um, got ourselves chips everywhere window fell off that um label on that window fell off so it's probably somewhere hiding i don't know where it is um so that's probably one of the reasons why it failed so here we are so it's a nice battery here which you definitely want to remove and looking on the board here i think i see something beautiful there's a zilog z80 cpu the same one done in the um spectrum um, the ZX Spectrum. Really nice. Um, there's a CTC, some kind of controller uh, chip, and the PIO, something relating to the in and out um, issues, which I'm guessing what it does. Um, and there's also some nice um, pin socket there. Um, and there's also lots of tantalum capacitors, those little, um, that one that looks like a balloon, this one right here. The one with the silver top that um has tantalum in it. it's like a kind of like an epoxy dipped um lots of chips everywhere um got some really old tape there <clears throat> looks like a din 5 keyboard connector um and a power um jack here we got ourselves looks like a nice old heat sink with a transistor on there but it turns out it's actually a integrated circuit that's cool, but I'm probably not going to process this board. Um, there's a nice little um, chip there that looks like a EEPROM chip. No gold in that one, just some silvery bonding wires, which aren't gold. So, yeah, there's a nice little axial lead uh, capacitor. You don't see that very much at all. So anyway, yeah, so that board's a keeper. Um, knowing that that came out of Evan, that it was using the same CPU as a nice vintage computer, I'm definitely keeping this. So, on this board here, you can see that they have where all the buttons are. And a nice little chip there. Um, and another one there. This one probably uh, controls the uh, display. So, yeah, there's basically a couple small uh screws on this one to pop out So I'm basically popping out five screws, so we can get to take a look at this um, 
board here. So I'm on number four. And our last one. And before we do this, let's admire the um, Zon Junior XL. And so you try to find a copyright date on this. Oh, there it is. It is from 1986. See, there we go, 1986. Nice vintage. And this board should also have a 1986 copyright date as well. If we can get that to focus, we should be able to see that. Yeah, there we go, 1986. Verifone. There we go. It's just a rebranded electronics. Flipping this over here. We got ourselves, yeah, some nice uh, board um, plating there. Nothing too crazy, though. Just about, right? Um, and on this side, there appears to be no chips. I was hoping there would be one right there, but... Oh, well. We win some, lose some. Also, this um, display was made by Futaba. This vacuum fluorescent display. A very, very good board uh, display manufacturer. Look at that. I've always been fascinated with these vacuum fluorescent displays. Look at that. Every single one of those is um, to a trace. And... Let's take a look here. We can see all those traces are all um, connected to each other and go out to these pins. We got ourselves a buzzer there. It looks to be a transformer. A nice little IC chip there. And a bigger IC chip as well as some nice IDE pins. So this board will be scrapped. However, this nicer board here will be added to the collection. It's too nice to scrap. It's probably one of my very first um, chip heavy boards, aside from the little memory board from a vintage printer. That's somewhere in boxes, in boxes of electronic boards. Um, there you go, see? Um, Zon XL a Junior XL case set. It's kind of neat. Has a little barcode. And these buttons are pretty cool. You might be able to sell this as well. Like, you might be able to look this up and see the value of it. Um, because this could be resellable. I'll definitely keep this and look it up. And, of course, we got ourselves our reader head. It's too small. Yeah, I don't know where that piece of paper went. Maybe someone um, somehow forgot, just it just fell off. I don't know. It's weird. It's nowhere to be found. It's mysterious. So yeah, as you can tell, there's an, there's a reader head right there. Very nice. So yeah, yeah. There's some pieces of metal. Another piece of metal. And some plastic. Now you might be able to sell this plastic, but since this is a rebranded one, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, and there's a back plate. But it's really best to sell them both at the same time. So I guess the moral of the story is try to sell face plates and back plates as one unit. And if not, try to sell at least something from a uh, board or from an electronic component if possible to maximize your profits. So yeah, um, hope you found that video series interesting and useful. Um, even though it's really just one video in itself, I still hope you found all those series of videos useful. And if you did, please um, share this video with your friends. Let them know about the Scrap Man and get them more information about maybe something they're going to scrap just like mine. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.